So after we've taken the potatoes out, the compost is probably a little bit exhausted, obviously, from growing those potatoes, but still, I hope, fertile enough, because it was quite fertile starting off with. And it's early on in the season, like this is uh, mid-June, and I should be able to get a crop of courgettes from the same compost, hopefully with a bit of liquid feeding and keeping it, an eye on it. Um, so the compost I'm going to put back into the, um, the grow bag that grew the potato and uh, see how the courgette does. And I should be in July, August, September maybe getting courgettes from the same growing medium in the same bag. Well, the courgette now that I want to plant is um, an Italian variety, Tondo de Nizzi, um, from the Organic Centre in Ross Inver in Leitrim. It's a round, uh, green mottled fruit. Um, and I planted up these seeds. There's only about 10 in a packet now, so I have other plants ready to go in other containers. But the containers I'm going to use today are exactly the same plastic grow bags and this shop bought grow bag here. Uh, that I had the potato crop in, the early potatoes. Um, and so I'm going to use the compost again, feeding it with um, not just the water, but also this comfrey uh, tea here, made from the comfrey plants out in the front garden. And we'll see then if we get courgettes in July, um, right through to September, I hope. It's very simple just to plant up um, what's in this pot into a larger growing medium. This compost is very dry actually, so I have to make sure to keep it watered. It seems to dry out quite quickly in this bag. <coughs> Good root formation there anyway, but it uh, needs water. I'll just plant up the three of them kind of quickly enough so that I can water them all together and settle them into their new home. Right, well they look alright for the start, uh, but I think they'll be needing water pretty soon. So, as well as water here in the can, uh, I'm going to add this um, comfrey tea. Um, which does not smell like tea, I might warn. It's, um, but the, the, the smell does wear off kind of quickly because it's quite a natural. Uh, farmyard smell, I suppose, the best way to describe it. Um, but it does a power of good to courgettes. This is a sunny spot here, and they need sun. Uh, as the name suggests, they, I suppose, are associated with Mediterranean and warmer climates and they, they really need about 20 degrees uh, to, to germinate, hence they were germinated in on the windowsill um, and brought out into the small greenhouse uh, when they were germinated in, in smaller pots. Um, but at this point in the summer, we're into mid-June now, uh, the temperature is 
around about 20 degrees, 18, 23, depending on the day. And I reckon they're going to do all right there once I keep them watered.